Hello everyone. Apple has just released macOS Sequoia 15.7, available now for all supported Macs. This update was released alongside iOS, iPadOS, watchOS, and tvOS updates, forming Apple's usual multi-platform rollout. The size of the update varies depending on the Mac you're installing it on, but for most users, it comes in at around 2 to 3 gigabytes. This is not a groundbreaking feature release. Instead, macOS 15.7 is primarily a maintenance update focused on stability, security, and performance. Still, there are a few changes worth highlighting, and this version may very well be the last stop before we move on to macOS Tahoe. Once installed, macOS Sequoia 15.7 identifies with build number 24G222. That signals a late cycle release, with Apple polishing the last details before shifting its full attention to Tahoe. Everything in this build feels tighter and more refined, and early reports confirm that system stability has improved across the board. One of the main focuses of 15.7 is security. Apple patched several vulnerabilities in WebKit, the engine behind Safari and many other apps. This means web browsing is safer and less prone to exploits. In addition, there are fixes for Wi-Fi reliability, especially on MacBook Air and Pro models running Apple Silicon. Random disconnects should now be resolved. Bluetooth stability, with fewer drops when using wireless headphones or speakers. Mail and calendar sync issues, where some users saw delays or failed updates when connected to iCloud. External drives and SSDs, where copying large files occasionally caused long pauses or even failures. Transfers now work smoothly. Even though this is a maintenance release, Apple made a few small but noticeable design refinements. In system settings, sound, the input and output selectors now stretch across the full width of the panel, making them easier to access. The AirDrop icon has been updated to match its look on iOS, creating more consistency across platforms. Control Center wording has been adjusted. The option now says Reset Control Center instead of Reset Menu Bar and Control Center, clarifying its function. These are minor details, but they contribute to a more polished feel overall. Apple also improved the behavior of its built-in apps. Safari feels snappier, with icons for profiles now showing properly in the upper corner. This makes it easier to switch between work, personal, or school browsing contexts. Notes got reliability updates for syncing long documents and attachments. Music and stocks now show updated splash screens for new users, aligning them with Apple's modern design language. Performance has been stable and in some cases, improved. On Macs with M-Series chips, apps open in just one or two bounces, and there's no noticeable lag moving between mission control, stage manager, or full screen apps. Battery life also seems slightly improved compared to 15.6. Many users report gaining an extra 30 to 45 minutes during video playback and light browsing. Standby drain has been reduced as well meaning your MacBook loses less charge overnight when left idle. Professional apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Xcode work without issues, and Adobe apps appear more stable with large projects. Video export errors and crashes that occurred for some users on 15.6 have been addressed. Should you update? Yes. If you're running any earlier version of Sequoia, updating to 15.7 is strongly recommended. The security patches alone make this worth it, and the refinements to stability and performance are a bonus. As always, make sure you have a time machine or other backup before updating, but this release is considered safe even for production Macs. macOS Sequoia 15.7 is a quiet but important update. It doesn't introduce flashy new features, but it strengthens the foundation, fixes lingering bugs, and ensures your Mac is secure and reliable. Most importantly, 
This release is almost certainly the final update to Sequoia before Apple officially transitions to macOS Tahoe. If you've been holding off, now is the right time to get your Mac fully up to date and ready for the next generation.